Thanks for meeting me with me, Mrs. Barbara. Of course! I'm doing a documentation on the Haunted Sawmill mm. and Skullface for my cinematography mirror badge. Oh, I'm going to meet with you. You know, it's no legend, young man. All those evil stories are true? Unfortunately, it's all very true. Evil has a way of getting out into the world and causing all sorts of problems. It's no legend. Dorian Morris was the wealthiest man in town. His parents owned the sawmill, you know. They had lots and lots of money. They built themselves a big mansion on the river. They had it all going for them. And Dorian thought he was so charming, so handsome. All he needed was a pretty little wife. Louise? Yes. Vincent? Yeah, he's one of them local lumberjacks here that supplied the Merrill Mill with logs all the time. He's here dropping off stuff all the time, but he kind of rubbed people the wrong way, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I think it was one of those, what do you call them, those love boat triangle thingies. Uh, I, I don't know, but everybody knew that he had the hots for one of the office girls, Louise. Did Louise like Vincent? Dorian thought she might. I saw a bunch of third shift guys going outside to talk to Vincent. I think those third shift guys were going outside to tell Vincent to leave Louise the hell alone and tell him to get the hell out of here. But Louise found out what they were planning. Was Louise all right? Mm. No. Nobody could understand what happened that night. It was unbelievable, and tonight I'll never forget the horrors that I seen were just unbelievable.
History of Merrill, chapter 3, verse 2, section B. After the tragedy, they shut the mill down, and Dorian's brother Francis returned to Merrill and converted the mill into an insane asylum. They said only the insane could stand being after that tragedy. Many of those committed were survivors of the massacre, and they said they saw him. Vincent Skullface. <laughs> this is CNN Breaking News. We interrupt this pre-recorded program to bring you this live bulletin. There have been more killings at the Merrill Sawmill. Details are sketchy at the moment. Oh, wait, I'm being handed more information. Is this for real? This has got to be a joke. Apparently, a man wearing a lumberjack outfit and a skull mask has entered the Merrill Sawmill. There are reports of people being killed. We are going to try and get inside and bring you live footage of the breaking situation. Police are reporting that they have a man cornered, only Stay known back. by the we first... We have a possible alert. hostage situation. Vincent's back. It's just been confirmed by police that Vincent, the skull-faced killer, has come back to the Merrill Sawmill. We're following them now. We can hear all sorts of yelling and screaming inside. We don't know Vincent, what exactly... get yourself up! You're surrounded! There's no escape. He went straight to Schmitty, grabbed him, took him into the acid room. We keep all the chemicals in there, and he, he dumped Schmitty's face straight into the barrel of acid. He burnt him up pretty bad. And then and then he dumped the whole body in the barrel. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
He was insane. He was insane, I tell you. He grabbed him like one of my son's G.I. Joes. Took him over by the big saw. The one we cut the great big trees up with. And he shoved him right in it. He kept screaming. He wouldn't stop until everyone was dead. Everyone that had ever crossed him. Even, even after death, he said he'd come back and haunt this place. To anyone who ever came in. He's insane! I'm telling you, he's insane! Stop being a baby and let's just go in. Not me. Why doesn't Brett go in? That's his great idea. You guys are a bunch of babies. Aren't scouts supposed to be brave? I'm going in. You guys want to wait out here because you're scared of little skull face? Go right ahead. This is still good. <laughs>